Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to build a creeper farm. More specifically, this is going to be a simplified version of my creeper churner, which is one of the most efficient creeper farm designs for Minecraft Bedrock Edition. You can find a link to it in the description. This simplified version isn't as efficient, but it doesn't use golems, so it is much easier to build. Without further ado, let's dive into it. The crux of every creeper farm is to deal with spiders. In my creeper churner design, I used iron golems to lure them into falling outside of the R44 sphere, forcing them to despawn like this. Eventually, the spider should detect the iron golem, try to attack it and jump to its death. For this new design, we'll keep the same core principle, but we will proceed differently in order to avoid using iron golems. If you have seen my general mob farm design, you will already know this, but ice in Minecraft Bedrock Edition has a very interesting property. It prevents pathfinding under certain conditions. Let's demonstrate that and explain. Here, if I spawn mobs on this ice platform, they will not attempt to move at all. This is because ice is only detected as walkable by mobs if there is at least one solid block present next to or under the ice in a radius of 8 blocks. If there are no solid blocks at all in this radius like here, mobs don't attempt to move. But if I place a bunch of solid blocks anywhere within the radius, they should eventually detect them and pathfind towards them. Here you can see this spider has detected these concrete blocks and it moved towards them. Here comes the second one, and soon enough a third and fourth one should come as well. This behavior is what we're going to exploit in order to lure our spiders into oblivion. Here's how we're going to do it. We're going to place a row of solid blocks at the end of our ice platforms along with water streams on top of these solid blocks to push the mobs into their death. So here's how we're going to build the water streams we're going to need buttons and open fence gates. What did I just do here? So we place the buttons here. And here you can use other things such as scaffolding or skulk vein for this here. It just needs to be both walkable and block water from flowing. Now we need open fence gates here and along this line here. If I place water source blocks here, we have our water streams. And now, if I spawn mobs on this platform, 
eventually they'll detect the solid blocks and move towards them getting caught in the water streams in the process and falling to their death. It's interesting that mobs, despite the fact that the solid block is covered with water, will try to pathfind towards it anyways. Now let's move on and see the layout of our farm. First we're going to find an ice spikes biome. The reason why we seek for ice spikes is that skeletons don't spawn underground in ice spikes, which increases the rate of creeper spawns. Ice spikes are therefore the best biome to farm creepers. Second, we're going to make a roof out of glass. This roof must be 17 by 23 blocks. It will prevent water from freezing underneath, while still letting light pass through, so that we can build the farm without having to care about mob spawning inside of it while we are building. So here we're going to make the roof first. Here we're done. Now that this is done, we're going to make two ice platforms of 17 by 8 each, exactly 42 blocks under the glass roof where we want our first layer of farm to be. Here we'll build the first layer of farm at y equals 64. Our roof is at y equals 108. We need to align the 17 block portion of our platforms with the 17 blocks portion of the roof. So let's make our first platform. It should be 8 in length. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 17 in width. So here we have our first platform. Let's make this second one. Note that the two platforms are separated by a gap of two blocks wide. The reason this gap is two blocks wide is that it's going to be our drop chute and every once in a while a spider will also fall into it so it needs to be two wide rather than one. Luckily this event is extremely rare. Once we have our two platforms we need to take either skulk vein or scaffolding and make rows starting from the first block here. Here I'm using skulk vein. The reason why I use skulk vein rather than scaffolding is that spiders will sometimes climb onto the scaffolding, which they can't do with skulk vein. Once we're done placing our rows, we will need to place trapdoors on the top position between each row, in the same way as it's done in usual creeper farms. Here we're almost done, and here. We will also need to place a row of trapdoors at the same position on the northern or western side. This is because mobs spawn on the northwest corner of their block. So here we need to place this row here. Here, we're done. Now let's break these temporary blocks and these two in the middle that we don't need. Now on the outer end of each platform we'll place a row of non-spawnable blocks such as glass here and here and then we'll have our solid block. Let's make it concrete. We're building the water streams just like we did in the earlier part of the video. Okay, now that this is done, we will give it a try to verify that everything is working in order. Normally, this spider should detect the solid block here, walk towards it, get caught in the stream, 
in the water stream and fall down. Here it detected the solid block and walked to its death. Goodbye. Now the last thing we need to do on this platform is add a bunch of fences here on the top position on this side which is the eastern side as you can see and on the other side here on the western side we need to place them here on this level so one block lower than on the eastern side and now between these rows of trapdoors we need to add water streams to add our water streams we need to place a block here and then open fence gates at the back here and then water source blocks in between all we need to do is break the temporary blocks here and the water should flow directly towards the center part of the platforms let's do the same on the other side here now that this is done we can move on to the drop chute and the trident killer so in order to make the drop chute and the trident killer we'll make the first two walls of six glass blocks high so one two three four five six on each side the reason we need to use glass blocks here is to prevent detection from the spider. Spiders must not see that there are blocks here otherwise they will try. If we made these blocks solid they would try to pathfind towards those blocks instead of the correct ones here. Okay now that this is done on either side which you can choose we need to go out one block and from here on we can use solid blocks I'm going to continue using glass blocks because I prefer them aesthetically but you could use solid blocks to make it cheaper here we need to have two rows on this side here and on this side just underneath the wall just continue making it two now we can close this off on the bottom here now that this is done actually on this side it's preferable to keep so which is the western side here it's actually preferable to keep this going on for the full height of the farm. This is the side here, it's the western side, so when mobs are going to spawn here on this block, they are going to spawn here on the northwest corner of this block here. So this is to prevent them from falling down and die outside of the farm. 
We don't want creepers to die outside of the farm. We only want spiders to die outside of the farm. Here, okay, this is done. On the other side, we can simply use open fence gates. Here. Now, on each corner, place a water source block. And here, at the point where there is no water in the middle, place another water source block. Now follow the streams and break this block here, the block in the middle and this block here. This is where now we're going to place pistons to make what I call a bouncing trident killer. Here. On the block above here, we place our pistons. And these pistons are low enough that they won't be detected by the spiders up on top of their platform. Underneath the pistons, we'll place buttons like so. And then we'll wire them. Just an observer, a bit of redstone, and a sticky piston with a lever to turn it on and off. Remember to place a non-spawnable block on top of these here in order to make them non-spawnable. Let's add three tridents, preferably enchanted with impaling five, so then they can kill creepers in one shot. Here, you throw it on the glass block behind, it's very simple. And here, our trident killer is done. Let's test it with a creeper or two. And they die in one shot. Now here, of course, we need to add a bunch of hoppers and chests to collect the loot. Here. And the TK is done. If you want to destroy the XP, you can add a skull catalyst somewhere like, for example, here, in the middle. This should be enough to collect all the XP that drops from the, the creepers. Now to complete the farm all we need to do is replicate this platform 13 times for a total of 14 platforms. So let's do it right now. This here should be the result. The last thing we need to do is place a roof made of leaves at least seven blocks above our last spawning platform here. 
So this platform is at y equals 103. So at least seven blocks above that, we are going to need to place a roof made of leaves. This roof must also extend seven blocks from here and here in each direction and on the other side as well from here the last spawnable block here seven and last spawnable block here seven so let's make that right now here I made the platform a little bit bigger because I'm in creative and I made it with the fill command so it's easier but of course, and I made it a little bit too high, but this isn't a problem. The reason for this leaf roof is that it allows surface spawns to happen while blocking light. So it makes the farm perfectly dark. And here is approximately what your farm should look like. The last thing we need to do is add the AFK spot which is going to be 23 blocks out of the last spawnable block from the central block here, so ninth block here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 from the last spawnable block the last spawnable block is the last ice block here So 23 blocks out from this point here and it must be 18 blocks above the first spawning platform. So the first spawning platform is on y equals 64 here. Twenty-three blocks out from this point here, which is zero on the Z coordinates. Let's place it with the set block command. So set block I think it should be eight eighty two minus twenty three hopefully yes Let's make it a lit pumpkin so it, we can see it easily. Did we place it correctly here? Hopefully yes. Let's verify. Okay, things look fine. So here we need a looting three sword. Here. In this configuration, the farm should output around 34 to 35 stacks of gunpowder per hour, give or take. This is a far cry from the 40 plus stacks per hour of the initial Creeper Turner design, but this trade-off was unfortunately inevitable in order to simplify the design. As you can see, we have our spiders spawning and jumping to their death, and our creepers who get carried by the water streams towards the drop chute in the middle. Normally we should already have some loot in the chest, so let's go verify that. Yes. The AFK spot should be actually on the opposite side, but it's not very important. It should be on the same side as the chest there. And this is it for today. I hope you like this design and I hope it will find its place in your world. If you have any comments or questions, don't hesitate to hit the comment section and I will do my best to reply as soon as possible. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.